So what can you tell us about the upcoming season? Well, uh, the, the theme of our season is going to be technology. We're calling it our Black Mirror inspired season. And we are going to explore how technology changes the fabric of human life and how it's affecting us for better and for worse. Um, we also have uh, two new characters that are joining the show. We have uh, Julie Gonzalo who's coming in and taking over Paco uh, as she's playing um, uh, Andrew Rojas. Also in Canada, you might know her as uh, a Krata. Um, and we're very excited about that. And she brings a great energy uh, and she's really shaking things up. Uh, and we also have another new reporter uh, played by Staz Nair, uh, the, the, the original character, uh, William Day. Um, well, last season we saw a big focus on the immigration issue, very similar to what's going on within our own country right now. How did it feel to share such an important issue with your platform at such a relevant time? It meant so much to us. Last year, uh, last season was the first time that Robert and I were the architects of all the stories from the beginning, and it really is important to both Robert and myself to tell stories that reflect what's going on in the real world and reflect themes that we all care about and that affect all of us and so that was obviously deeply personal to us and we're really really proud of it. Are we getting new crossovers because uh, I've read about the the uh, Superman one but uh, a lot of the ones you did with uh, DC uh, Legends with Arrow being ending the season you plan to do something like Crossover. We, we, we have our biggest one yet with the Crisis on Infinite Earths, and so it's, it's uh, going to be a biggie. Okay. Will the Legend of Tomorrow be a part of this crossover this year? Uh, yes. They will. Okay. I love this. What's the creative <laughs> process like when you're putting together the crossover episode? Oh, well, it's, uh, um, it's fun. Uh, all of the showrunners get together in a, a kind of a writer's room, uh, and uh, we uh, you know, hash it out and make sure that we're telling stories that are good for all the characters that are involved. Uh, but it's, you know, the bar is so high and we want to make sure we get it right, so it's, there's a lot of pressure to get there. <laughs> What's on your wish list um, to use into the series, neither this season or this season? Well, I mean, I think as Jessica said, we'd like to um, reflect back uh, what society is uh, coping, coping with, and so I don't know if you call it a wish list, but we want to continue to, to do that. Um, I don't know, uh, beyond that... Um, I, I mean, I think there are a lot of character dynam relationship dynamics that we're excited to get into and, and exploring uh, the deepening relationship between Kelly and Alex, the deepening relationship between Nia and Brainy, and there's a, there's a lot of a lot of stuff we're really looking forward to. Yeah, like the inclusion, you know, like the um, the relationship aspect, where you can actually try to seek the balance, but also show when there's a challenge when someone doesn't have the availability to kind of have that time to relax from the DPO. Exactly. And being a super, and then also trying to deal with the other issue, the social dynamic. The way they have their yes. identity, they have to try to break, suppress or try not to, um, as they try not to make it so obvious for, for others. Yes. Um, right so it's, I think this past season, I, 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 I think one of the things is identity. Always. Always. Yes, it was a good season. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>